So I'm creating a tutorial with a matte uh, eyeshadow palette from Morphe. Priming my eyelid, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just blending that on my lids. Next I'm taking that burnt orange shade as a transition shade and I'm blending it in my crease area. Using a blending brush from Morphe. Uh, the Rose School collection. Took a tip of blending brush from Eco Tools, going in with a dark brown shade from there, that chocolate shade from there, and I'm just blending that directly in my crease. So I'm looking for a little uh, gradient effect here. So. I'm applying that directly in my crease and then I'll go back in with the blending brush and blend out the two shades making sure that there aren't any harsh lines in there. I'm watching this uh, movie on the screen there. If you see I have a movie on with Reese Waterspoon and that Cuban uh, lady. It's a very funny movie. I just I was really you know they didn't really have anything to do so I decided to come a camera and um, blend some shades together for you guys um, and so anyway I took a sh uh, shader brush from real techniques and I blended in my crease area now I'm going to define my crease with a flat brush from MAC Cosmetics on my L'Oreal Infallible Blur Concealer. I'm going to leave the information down below or I'll either put them on the screen but I'll leave it down below. So anyway I'm just using that flat brush to define my crease just to give a little definition nothing intense. So I went in the palette with those two shades and I'm just setting the uh, concealer that I put there. This concealer is not like a thick concealer. I hope I have used my MAC paint pot in laying low. I probably would have gotten a better you know payoff because I'm using all matte shadows. But anyway I, I did like uh, what I did with the shades. So as you see I just pointed out to the next shades and I am blending them on there. Then in my crease area, um, just for more definition, I'm going back and forth in that palette, taking the purple shade and laying it in my other V. So I went in the palette, I took that white shade um, just before where I'm pointing, and I went ahead and laid it on my uh, brow bone. Now I'm taking an eye pencil and a small shade brush. And I'm just uh, blending in the pencil on my waterline, or should I say, in my waterline. So, mascara I'm using today is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Everybody's favorite. Everybody and their mama has one. <laughs> anyway, moving on to my face, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and I am just uh, getting rid of any. Um, pigmentation first. After color correcting I use some Fix Plus to uh, ease the uh, process of my blending because I know that the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, the creams in there are very thick and I, I think I apply a little bit of the uh, contour color there which is the orange contour color or color corrector sorry. But the foundation I'm using is from my cosmetic and because of the uh, the orange corrector and the foundation it looks very orange so I went in with Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation to tint um, the combination down. So I'm still going in with the flat brush and I'm just doing some touch up on spots that I think that the foundation didn't uh, really fill in. So now I'm going in and highlighting under my eye and I'm just using the um, 
L'Oreal Blur Concealer once more and I'm going to go ahead and blend that in with a concealer brush. It's a mineralized concealer brush that I'm using. And I love the way it blends. And this is a brush from a brand on Amazon called Shiny Cosmetics. And I really love their brushes. They blend so well. And I believe I paid $29, not more than $35, but $29, I believe, for this set of brushes. And there were probably about 24 brushes in there. And I really do love most of the brushes. Anyway, I'm going to follow this process here. And a banana powder to set the uh, concealer that I just applied. Just going over everything with my Real Technique blending sponge. Now I'm going to define my cheekbone and I went back in ABH Cream Contour Kit and I took the very dark shade and I'm just blending that now basically trying to define my cheekbone. I took my cosmetics and Debbie 58 and then set that contour because as you know when you use a cream contour you also need to use a powder to set that. And I'm taking medium dark one of my old powders and I'm just setting under my eye as well. And I'm grabbing Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm cleaning under my contour and I just went in and added a little bit underneath my eye for more brightness so I did forget to add my false eyelashes so now I'm just adding that on and I'm going with a powder brush from Sephora with MAC mineralized skin finish is the one in the old formula set my face with it the blush i'm using is from sophora collection palette it's a palette with multi colors and i also use that there is no name on it and for the lip recipe i took a blue lip pencil from cargo not lip pencil but eyeliner pencil from cargo cosmetics and i'm using anastasia beverly hills Recom, I believe that's how they say it, Raycom. And that is the finished look for today. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video, share and subscribe if this is your first time. If you also made it at the end, you are my real MVPs. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. And goodbye from Peaches October.